Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to the first webinar for this year's Give Big St. Croix Valley. We're going to give it a minute, just let everyone join, uh, and then we'll get started. Okay, well, we have some still joining. I just want to introduce, so my name is Sarah, and I'm a project manager with Mighty Cause, so I'll be leading you through today's presentation. Um, just a few quick housekeeping items to note before we get started. This webinar is recorded right now, and it's going to be posted in the toolkit on the Give Big St. Croix Valley site under the Resources tab and the Nonprofit Toolkit. Um, if you have any questions during the presentation, you can type them in using the Zoom questions panel at the bottom of your screen and we will get to them at the end of the webinar. Um, so again, I'm Sarah and I'm a project manager for GiveBig. We also have Lisa joining us on the webinar today from uh, United Way St. Croix Valley. Um, she's been working super hard to make sure it's a really great event for you all this year. So I am going to pass it over to Lisa so she can say a few words. Great, thank you, Sarah. Um, hello, everyone. Welcome. I'm so glad that you decided to take the time to be here today and really excited to help you get started and get on the path to a successful Give Big Day. Uh, we are very excited about what's happening with the event this year. Um, last year, we had our most successful Give Big Day ever. It was, we raised $455,000, a little over that, from almost 2,000 unique donors. So that was a, a huge day and so much wonderful generosity from the community and support from existing and new donors for our organizations. Uh, as Sarah had said, I am the executive director of United Way St. Croix Valley. I've been in my role since about May of 2021, um, but prior to that, I was with United Way as the development and communications director, and I also managed the Give Big program. Uh, so some of you I might have worked with um, in the past, and even prior to being um, here on staff at United Way, I was a per Give Big participant as a nonprofit. So I have been in your shoes, and I know that if you're new to Give Big, it can seem overwhelming at first, but I just want you to know that we are here to help you, um, and, and you know, we'll guide you along the way. It is worth the effort, um, and it's just such a fun day if, if you haven't participated yet. I also want to just take a second to introduce our Give Big program manager, Erin Coughlin. Erin uh, works part-time, so she's unable to join us today for the training, but she is always available to you by email to answer questions and to help guide you in um, the, the topics that we discussed today as well. Awesome. Thank you, Lisa. Uh, well, we're really excited to partner with you all this year for Give Big, and we're really looking forward to providing you all the technical support you need as you get ready for the big day. So if any of our uh, those viewing have any participants that have questions as you're getting ready, or if you find one of your donors has a question, um, our support team is always ready to help you. You can email them at support at mightycause.com. So real quick, a little bit about Mighty Cause. For those who are new or haven't used our platform, Mighty Cause is a fully functional organization fundraising suite that organizations use all year long to raise money for their causes. We've been around since 2006 and we were one of the first platforms to host Giving Days. So we're just really excited uh, to be helping out with Give Big St. Croix Valley again this year. Okay, so our agenda. We'll be going over some of the basics for the Give Big St. Croix Valley Giving Day. Then we're gonna walk through how to register briefly and customize your organization page. Um, this year I'll provide a walkthrough, kind of a demo showing you all how to edit your pages as a little refresher. Um, and then we'll of course finish with a Q&A session at the end of the presentation. So if you have a question, again, you can type them into the Q&A uh, button panel on your Zoom dashboard. Um, so I'm going to pass it over to Lisa again so she can cover the basics for the event. Thank you, Sarah. As you all know, Give Big is a 24-hour day of giving that takes place um, fully virtual at givebigscv.org. It happens every year the last Tuesday in April, so this year that falls on April 26th, although early giving starts on April 1st. Um, so you can see a lot of people are getting ready and have their pages fully um, launched by April 1st. 
GiveBig is open to all local nonprofits serving Pierce, Polk, St. Croix, and Burnett counties. And it is a program of United Way St. Croix Valley. Um, so when you register for Give Big, there is, you do have to register to, to participate. There is a $100 registration fee, and that helps with uh, United Way's promotion and management of the event to make it as successful as possible. So United Way uh, helps provide promotion for Give Big in a number of different ways. We do newspaper, um, print, and digital ads. We do lots of social media, paid and unpaid social media, and all of this, just to clarify, is promoting the giving day, not any individual organization, but just letting people know that this giving day is happening and encouraging people to visit the website and find out about your organizations. Um, we also have um, banners and give big signs that you'll see going up in communities all across western Wisconsin. Uh, posters that go out and try to paper the community with posters for Give Big. We do press releases to all of the local media outlets. Uh, we promote it in our newsletters and then, of course, the, the Give Big website. So um, part of what you are getting to that registration is a lot of promotion of Give Big and some specific promotion of your event, which we feature in some newspaper or of your organization, which we feature all of the participants in newspaper ads. And on the Give Big Day, there is a chance to win prizes and incentives. So we have golden tickets that are drawn every hour. We have power hours um, and cash prizes for organizations. And all of those um, specific prizes will be released in March, and the details for this year. And then it's really just a chance for you to get out in front of new donors, people that may not be aware of your organization, and to tell your story and raise awareness about your mission. And with that, I will turn it back over to Sarah. Thank you. Awesome. Um, okay, so what is a giving day for those who have not participated in a giving day before? A giving day is an online fundraising marathon that aims to bring people together to really support a specific community, a cause, or a space. So the giving day hosts organize the events and they rally the organizations to raise funds for their causes. Um, organizations participating in a giving day utilize the resources and tools that are provided. Um, by our hosts to reach out to their supporters, to solicit donations, secure their fundraisers, and really just work on growing your uh, network. Um, as we noted, a giving day is a unique campaign presented by our host organization that provides participants the opportunity to capitalize on the urgency of a limited time frame. So in this case, you know, 24 hours to raise the most money for their causes. Um, giving days are a super exciting way for you to engage your sponsors, community partners, and peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers to really spread the word about your organization and your mission and raise funds for your cause. Um, and during this giving day, the limited time frame really creates a sense of urgency that donors typically tend to respond to. Um, and plus, with the various prizes that are offered during the event, it really gives you a lot of fresh messaging opportunities uh, to share on your socials and emails and really just spread the word to your donors. Um, okay, so what do you need to do to participate and give big? You'll want to first register your organization if you haven't done so and pay the registration fee. And then once you're registered, you can customize your profile on the give big site and start planning your campaign. Um, you can invite people involved with your organization to participate as peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers. And then once early giving has started on April 1st, you can really start to push your campaign, uh, encouraging donations. And of course, you'll want to really push you know, your biggest asks on the actual giving day, um, trying to schedule donations if you can, You know, talking to your donors and supporters, and really pushing that April 26th date so you can win some prizes on the big day. Um, most of you are probably already registered, so we'll kind of go through this pretty quickly. But uh, first things first, you'll need to register your organization to participate in the event. Um, and you'll go to the GiveBigSCV.org site and click register. And then on that page, you can find your account or create an account on Mighty Cause if you've never used it before. Um, there's a quick registration form that appears. You can fill that out, submit, and then once you're approved um, to work with your on your organization page, you also have the ability to add more administrators to your account if you're going to have multiple people who are managing the campaign of yours this year. Um, and of course, reach out to our support if you need any help here. 
Okay, so getting started, we're gonna kind of transition. Let's see how smoothly I can stop screen share and restart screen share. But I'm gonna uh, attempt to give you kind of an overview, like a demo of the back end of an organization profile. Um, so I will do that now. Okay, let's see. Can you all see this? Are you seeing the Give Big St. Croix Valley screen? You can let me know in chat if it's coming through. Um, and Lisa, if you can see it, you can let me know too. Yep, I see yes, it. Yes, wonderful, awesome, good job, crowd. Okay, perfect. So this is our landing page for the site. Um, so basically, you know, if you're coming here and you're clicking register, you know, you're going to your registration page, you're scrolling down, you're all set, you've finished the form. Um, so next, you're going to want to come to the Give Big site. You can uh, click your little icon for your kind of dashboard, and it'll show you the organization that you've been registered with. Um, and your admin approval, so you're registered with, I'm registered in this case for Mighty Cause Foundation. So you can click this button and it will bring you to your page. So we'll pretend that this says Animal Humane Society for our demo purposes. I'm going to be using this organization. Um, so once you click it, it'll bring you to the overview of your page. Um, it'll, you'll, if you've never been here, um, since this is a demo site, it always comes up with kind of this little tutorial screen that you're welcome to walk through. It's really helpful. Um, I'll exit out of this. So um, under your organization page section, this is your dashboard. Um, so you can find your metrics here, which is going to come in really handy once you start raising funds. Um, under your organization page on your dashboard, you can, here's another little nice little navigation. Um, tutorial screen for you. But under this page, you can customize your page. You can toggle on and off the edit mode. So we have on page editing, which is nice. You can see edit mode allows you to do all these edits, all these buttons. Um, and this is where you're going to come to really personalize. So you're going to, you know, change out your logo. You can click here, upload your image, uh, upload your background. Um, so this is really going to be the hub of your activity for your give big. So we recommend taking a lot of time as much as you can to really just get to know your organization dashboard. Um, go through all these little buttons on the side, learn where those go. I'll show you a bunch, uh, of course, today as well. Um, okay. Okay, so your organization page is the face of your giving day. So you're going to want to make sure it looks good and represents you well. Um, just so you know, this org page link at the top is also the link you're going to share with your supporters uh, to ask them to donate to, you know, your give big page. So to share your page, you're really just going to copy and paste right here. It says your giving day, but you'll know this is the right link because it'll say give big org with your organization. So that's the URL you're going to want to share. Um, you're going to want to customize your page to really match your brand. So you can change your theme colors to match your logo. Um, this is where you can do that. Uh, you're going to want to upload media to the gallery, add some visual interest on your page. This is also where you can change your fundraising goal. Um, you can edit your goal. Um, you can go through here. You can also turn with this little toggle, you can turn on or off the fundraise button, depending on if you want it on for the day or off. Um, this is where people will go to donate. If you are gonna encourage people to do peer-to-peer -peer fundraising for you, this is where they'll click to create a page that supports your organization. Um, so in your story area, you can put your mission statement, you can add photos and video. Just I know if you upload video, you're going to need to add it to YouTube or Vimeo, and then you can embed that into your story so people can watch it there. So this spot is really where you can go really in depth about your work and make a strong appeal to your donors. Um, really tell them why your organization needs their support and show the impact of your work. So you'll definitely want to spend some time kind of customizing this section. Um, okay, so after you do the logo, just FYI, logos are a one-to-one -one ratio. 
So this is pretty much the same on a lot of social media sites. So if you have a logo on Facebook or Twitter profiles, you can usually use the same logo here. Um, the biggest thing is you're going to want to make sure your background image for your banner doesn't clash with your logo. So you'll upload a background image. Um, it looks best if it's probably text free, a strong image that represents your organization. Landscape oriented images will, of course, work best. The background image has a three to one aspect ratio, uh, but we also offer a generic kind of gallery of images if you don't have any or if you just want to browse and see if one of these. Um, so these have been selected because we think that they look really great on pages. Okay, so next, like I said, you'll want to match your theme color to your organization's branding. Um, you can pick your color if you have a, a specific hex code that your designers use, depending on if that's something that you have. Um, your about page of your section is really where you're going to create and craft your message for the event. Um, the text editor, it's all inline text editing. Here is a little bar of, you know, different ways you can format. So paragraph format, more text, kind of changing the text color, text font size, but it's all inline editing. So if you have to make any uh, edits, like you can insert a link here. Um, no need to save, it just saves. Well, actually it saves right there, I forgot. Um, okay, cool. So. Let's see. So I'm going through. Um, so if you have campaigns that are supporting your organization, you can highlight those here. So like I said, up above at the top, this is where people go to fundraise for you. And all the fundraisers, you, you can see them all. You can add a featured campaign. You uh, can have campaigns. You can list all your campaigns. You can, of course, just pick a couple. You can add your media gallery. Add your Instagram gallery, your Facebook gallery. Um, all these can be integrated. And then, uh, of course, you can also um, show donors. You can go, where is it? I'll come back to it. So in the checkout flow, you'll want to customize this after you finish editing your entire page. Um, so this is in the checkout section of your dashboard. And this is what your, your donors are going to experience when they make a donation towards your organization. So the first step is, of course, editing your donation form. Um, this is a section. It gives you a lot of control with Mighty Cause. So you can edit each of these little areas. Um, you can set up custom suggested donation amounts and add descriptions to help really tie those amounts to your school or your organization, whatever your organization is, to really explain to your donors, like, this is where your money is going. This encourages donations. People love to see where their money is going um, and kind of give them a, an idea of what it takes to help fund your operation. Uh, within the donation form, you can also opt into collecting additional info. Mighty Cause automatically collects email address information, but if you wanted to add phone numbers or ask a specific question, um, you can always add to those. So one note, you can only add one extra uh, question, but you're welcome to do that. Um, at the top of your form, you can also edit on and off the edit mode. So we really strive to make this editing process super simple for you all. Um, so everything is as you see it, as you edit it, this is what your donors are going to be seeing as well. Um, Sarah, I noticed we have a question in the Q&A from sure. Kathy. Uh, she's wondering, should you use the other tab in addition to the about tab? Um, yes, let me come back to this. Uh, it always wants to get me through a tutorial. Yes, so you can add up to three custom tabs. So um, we don't have an extra one here yet, but you can add a tab. And so if you want your about page to be all about your organization, then maybe your custom tab is about what you are trying to raise funds for, for the specific giving event, you can do that. It's the exact same flow as what you see here. Um, you can edit, add text, add, you know, videos, whatever you need. So does that answer the question, I think? I think that's what they're asking. I think so. And I, I would add to you could, it really is customizable to what you want and you could maybe include your 
general information here, you could put specific programs on a couple of tabs that you might want to highlight. So it's really anything you want to call attention to in my mind. In yeah, that area. definitely. Yeah, some people like to also um, talk about their staff. Um, you can add like who you are to really kind of personalize it as well. Um, okay, so we'll go back to our checkout. Uh, um, so the thank you page is next what you'll want to cover. Um, this is where you'll set it up. You can use the same text editor as your about story area. So same flow, all in inline kind of editing. Um, you can add text links, video images. You can add a custom call to action button that tells your donors where you'd like them to go next. Um, a cool example would be for them to maybe sign up for your email list, list or you could direct them to like your volunteer site or if, if that's something you have. Um, then you can go to your donation receipt, which is we have, you can see there's drop down or you can go back to the main um, area. Uh, okay, so this is where you can customize your organization's donation receipt within the donation receipt section. Um, this sets this customization you set appears above the tax deductible donation receipt that automatically will get sent out after your donor completes their donation on the site. Um, let's see, donations and disbursements. Okay, so if you go to your reports section, um, you can access your reports, your donations and disbursements. So this gives you a sub menu where you can choose from your all donations, um, recurring donations, uh, as well as donor, donor retention report, which comes in handy if you participated last year. Um, you can find a disbursements report here as well. So your donations report is available to you in real time and includes all the info like the donor name, email, the donation amount. Um, and you'll also know what page they donated to. So if there's a fundraiser page that's set up for your organization, um, you can also click to download the report up here. Um, and this report includes all the information like designations, dedications, gross, and that amount of donation, and just really any additional information you set up to collect during your checkout flow, like phone numbers. Um, since this is a demo account, we don't have any disbursements to show, but you can access all of your disbursements here as well. Um, you can click on disbursement listing to open up more info about specific disbursements, like which donations were included in the report, as well as a summary of the total amount, the total fees and that amount included in that disbursement. Um, and uh, you can also sign up for EFT. So that's our recommended method for you so that you can get your disbursements twice monthly. Uh, we also do disbursements via check and those get sent out once a month and there's a five dollar admin fee associated with these so we just really recommend that you set up eft um and then we'll go to matching grants so we'll switch into the fundraising tools section so on your side panel really take some time to just kind of dig through here there's a lot to click on and it might seem a little overwhelming but it's all very you know straightforward um, and user friendly. So here's where you'll go for your matching grants. Um, we're going to definitely go into more detail on matching grants in the next webinar. Um, but I do want to touch on matching gifts and uh, because these really do help inspire donors to participate. Um, I'm sure many of you know having a matching grant uh, or a, from a donor or a corporate sponsor can go a long way in driving donations. So here is the Mighty uh, Cause tool that's available to you for the giving event. Um, uh, okay, so you'll click Create, and this is where you can go to create a new match. This is something you would set up on your own, uh, and it just allows you to display a matching grant you've worked to, to secure. So basically, it's a super versatile tool. You have a lot of options for how you structure your match. Matches can feel complicated but if i mean you can also keep it super straightforward a lot of matches are one to one where if someone gives that amount the exact amount is matched uh with our tool you can also do two to one you can do a three to one or you can match a percentage of each donation um, our matching grant tool does all the math for you so all you have to do is choose how you want to structure your match uh, you can also apply a match when a certain number of donations have been received so for instance if there's like a power hour available on the day of for the most individual donations you can say that if you get 100 donations within the hour you'll set up an additional 
uh, like you'll get an additional 100 or 1,000K for your organization or however much your matching grant is set to um, to help really drive your donation volume and traffic. So the matching grant tool we have really allows you to post also multiple grants at the same time. Um, you can queue them up so that they happen in sequence. So you can set a bunch of grants to queue one after another. Uh, it might sound like a lot, but the tool itself is pretty user friendly and you have a lot of flexibility in how you structure your match. So um, we would just highly suggest you check out the matching grants tool just to see the possibilities, start brainstorming. Um, and of course, if you get overwhelmed, you can always resort to just uh, setting it up as a one to one match. That's the simplest and the easiest thing to do. Um, and our next webinar, we're going to go over this in much more depth and detail. Uh, okay, so the last section as we go through our side dashboard is our settings. Um, so the settings opens up a sub menu where you can update your organization settings. You can customize your organization's URL. Um, so if you kind of go through here, you can update, kind of pick your custom URL to direct your donors to. Um, this is a section I was also looking for earlier where you can update your social sharing settings. So if someone shares your profile, um, you can create what you want people to see. So you can add a description, you can add your Twitter account, you can add your social hashtags um, and do all this under your settings. Uh, and also, this is where you can set up your admins. So if you have multiple admins who are going to be working on your profile, you can send them invites here. You can click add new admin um, and it will deliver it to their email and say that they've been approved to manage your organization. Um, let's see. I think that's about there, there's a question in the chat that I could. Um that maybe we could address too. I don't know if you're going to get to sure. this, but we have somebody asking if we participated last year, are we able to remove the 2021 goal and achieve dollar amounts on our homepage, basically start fresh this year? And I know, mm -hmm. yes, absolutely. And we want you to do that, um, but it, could you walk through how to do that? Um, yes, let me come back. Um, okay, so this is where you'll edit your goal. So you can edit your goal. Um, and then this is where you can reset your metrics. So you can choose a date to calculate. So if you wanted to start your calculations on April 1st, when early giving starts, you it's super easy. You just literally click this little pencil icon on the far right and you can choose uh, the start date. So totally up to you. You can also decide if you only wanna show like dollars raised um, or if you only wanna show donors. So it's pretty customizable here. Okay, so I'm going to stop share, switch back over. Almost there, so much clicking. Thanks for bearing with me, everyone. Okay, so you should see we're back on um, back on our slide deck. Okay, so the last thing I do want to touch on is the donation widget. So uh, your account comes with a few donation widgets that allow you to collect donations for Give Big right through your organization's regular website. So if you have a regular website, um, then you or your tech person can embed the widget. Uh, on your website and it can collect donations for Give Big. So those will count right for the event. Um, the widgets reflect your custom donation levels. So I showed you earlier, you can go in and say, you know, $40 buys two bags of dog food. Um, so anything you set up on the back end is going to be shown on your widget. It also shows the descriptions um, and you can see exactly what your experience, what your donors are experiencing um, as you set it up. So it uh, the widget not only includes custom checkout questions, but it also includes dedications or designations. Um, totally optional, but we wanted to let you all know that this is another way you can collect funds for Give Big. Um, so super easy. 
Um, I do also want to mention the super great tools and resources that are available to you on the site as you get ready for Give Big. Um, and these are all found under the MPO toolkit, the nonprofit toolkit. The toolkit and the trainings are located under the resources tab on givebigscv.org. Uh, the toolkit has all these support articles, tips, tricks, links, FAQs, walkthroughs, and other info to help you get inspired and figure out how to promote your campaign. Because that's really going to be the biggest thing is how do you want to promote and get the word out about your campaign. Uh, there is both in-depth and starter info depending on the level you're looking for. This is also where I'm going to upload the training so you can rewatch. You'll also have access to just the slides, the 25 slides. Um, uh, so you can review those as well. So as we wrap up, I want to make sure the support contact info is here for you as well. Um, our Mighty Cause team is a really great resource for before and during the giving day for anything campaign related. So if you do need help setting up your EFT or if you need help figuring out how to strategize some ideas, um, or if your donor simply needs a receipt recent, you can always reach out to our supports. We also have a really full support library um, on our website. So specific address is support.mightycons.com. Uh, but these will be on the toolkit as well, linked for your uh, use. And this has a ton of support articles, so literally so many. We have a blog, we have you know little webinars that you can watch that might be specific to matching grants, if that's something you're interested in. So do check out our support library. Um, and then before we get into any questions, so if you have more, you can put those in now. Um, I wanted to remind everyone about our next webinar. It's all about strategy. It's happening on March 9th at 1 p.m. Central. Uh, we will be going super in-depth on all things strategy regarding the tools with your Give Big account, um, as well as emails that we suggest you send out, social media tips for you all, tricks uh, to really just make the most out of your giving event opportunity. Um, so you can register for that by going to the givebigscv.org site and clicking on the resources tab. Same way you probably registered for this one, it's right below that. So just a reminder to do that. Uh, okay, so I think, do we have more questions? Let's see. There is a new one in the Q&A right now, Sarah. Okay, awesome, I see it. How can we get a report from last year's donors? I don't see who donated in our retention list. Um, okay, so in your donation report, it only shows um, the year to the date. So, and if you have trouble with this, you can reach out to our support team. So I don't know the specifics, but it should show you can uh, enter in the specific time period that you're looking for. Um, yeah, when you go to your site, see if you can change out the dates, the specific dates. And if you have trouble, um, reach out to our support team because they can always download a, a list for you if it uh, isn't working. Any other questions? Um, a reminder in case you're watching and you haven't registered for Give Big, the deadline for that is April 13th. And then Lisa, if you have anything you want to add as well, I'll keep looking at the questions. Oh, okay, so you, okay, perfect, great. Um, no, I think we'll talk a little bit more about our specific tactics that we help with to generate donations the day of at our next webinar when we get into strategies. And I don't know that I have anything else to add here unless others have okay. questions. Yeah, if anyone else has any questions or else, um, thank you to everyone for attending. Hopefully that was not so overwhelming. I really think once you, you know, get into your page and you start clicking around, you'll see it's incredibly user-friendly. Um, everything is laid out in kind of a very intuitive way for you all. Uh, and um, we also have a little kind of checklist at the top. If you get into your organization profile and you're feeling overwhelmed, we have a little to-do list for you all as suggested items to kind of start to knock off the list. Like, uh, so take a look at those. There's usually four or five items that we think will be good for you to get started with. Um, okay, so if uh, 
if no one else has any questions, um, be sure to sign up for our next webinar happening March 9th. Uh, and again, feel free to always reach out to our support team. Uh, thanks for joining us today, everyone. Hope you have a great, oops, I just saw something come through. Oh, thank you. You are so welcome. Have a good one, everyone. Bye. Thanks, everyone.